should get some money to success. They have been pushed all the way by Notts County. Hello, welcome back to Football Fan Vids. This is an update, a transfer update. We have now, Wrexham have now announced a signing of Steve Fletcher. So, Steve Fletcher, obviously, you know him from the Premier League Championship, so he's been around. The latest club he was at was Dundee United. He's previously been at Stoke City, Sheffield Wednesday. He did a loan in Marseille in the French League. He's also been at Wolves, he's been at Burnley. He represented Scotland at different levels, obviously different levels in Scotland to the main team, first team, he's also done that. I believe that is till 2018. I'm not sure he's still playing or retired from international football. But he was there till 2018, played for the Scottish men team. He has come in on, on a free transfer, I believe it's from Stoke. People saying Stoke and saying Dundee. I spoke to him today in the car park where I seen him. I was in the club shop, I look as Look, obviously look at our stuff, came out, came out and he was there in the car park, so I have a quick word with him. Said he was coming from Stoke. Uh, and he said the deal was done and dusted, then obviously about an hour later, I think, um, the club, or the club official Twitter posted it, announcing the sign-in, so end of the season. Yes, he's 36. What can what can he bring to us? He could bring obviously ex experience. He's been around. He knows the likes of James of James McLean. I think they played together. It was a Sunderland, I think. I think it's Sunderland played together, so they know each other. Uh, yes, his age can be a factor. Obviously, thirty six. Has he still got it? He said he's fit and ready to play. He's, obviously, he's league two. Will he, do, will he still do a job? As a fan base, we've got back in, got to get behind him. There's some 50 50 obviously things go out about him. Some are saying, yeah, good. Some are saying, oh, what a downgrade that is. But we got to back him, haven't we? Obviously, with the latest list came out of the registrations, like the Billy Waters wasn't down, like so, obviously, Bryce Osana. Was the left wing back, and that was the Callum McPatsy, is it? No left back. So obviously they weren't registered. So obviously he brought the striker in for the end of the season. Will we still go for a striker in January? I'm not too sure. Hopefully we can. Uh, depending on the Mullen injury, how he comes back, he must be out longer than expected, I believe. It's not good news, but obviously speedy recovery for Mullen. On that note, hopefully we get back soon, when we don't know. So brought so we brought in Stephen Fletcher. Obviously, yeah, he's six foot four, I think, five, so he's good in the air, wins a lot of obviously area channels. He has scored over his career in championships and premier leagues. He has been around scored. So he knows where the net is. He's good in the air, so be good in the box. Yes. People might say he's a Dolby type signing or Palmer, but Palmer's more like a battle, like a battle ox. He battle the ball, win it. Can he like, win the flick arms off him? Can he do like, I don't know, can you try um, a bigger staff with Fletcher? Kind of thing. Oh, I'm not too sure what Palmer, sorry, not Palmer, sorry, I'm not sure what Phil would do on that note but obviously he's our man now to end the season let's get behind him and obviously I'm not sure what tomorrow brings with him if he's ready to play tomorrow 
he done a first day training today. The no the news book earlier um I was out I found out obviously he was at the ground talking to someone at the club. I found not club people, I found seen him in the ground. Obviously Twitter went viral saying rumour to sign like that. And obviously all started from there, then obviously I met him afterwards and basically confirmed it and spoke to him, it's like, yeah, I'm signing, all done, dusted. That's when the confirmation happened, like, an hour later or something like that, I think it was. About an hour, under 12 later, got announced. But you could watch his interview on the YouTube, on the official Wrexham site. I need to watch that myself, but you can watch that. Um, hopefully, he does well for this in the season. Please back him, he's not kicked the ball yet. So don't get on his back with his age. There's other fans out there laughing. They know what Rexon's finished. Stuff like that. When they their clubs have got like 35 year olds playing for them. So it makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, we got 34 like McLean age, but look at him playing. Rip tra he ripped Tramia pieces in he on his own pretty much. And he's 34. But I think it doesn't matter the age, if you're fit and you can play and you can do the job. What's the problem? You know what I mean? That's, don't get these fans like calling them out because they're aged and that. It's, look at like Ryan Giggs. I'm not saying Ryan Giggs, not that, but look at the type of that. He plays like 40s and he still had it. You, you got it, you haven't, have you? So, like I say, he's, he's been around. He's not been lower leagues, is he? He's been around obviously your Scottish leagues and your Premier, your Championships and stuff like that. And yeah, that's my view on it i think you bring experience again like i said and i think he'd be a threat in the box first imagine the toes of throwings on his head you know he's like six foot four five he'll he pretty much win every ball wouldn't he so he'd be playing against like short sent backs like you know center backs like five nine or like that or six foot he win the ball all the time wouldn't he pretty much so he is a threat just go back him like, like I said, I'm not sure you play tomorrow, but he might be on the bench. I think he'd be on the bench, personally. He might come on, depending on what we're doing in the game. Uh, but yeah, so Doncaster tomorrow at 3 o'clock at home. If he comes on or not, different story. If he comes on, please back him. And he might be, obviously, his new teammate. He needs to know how the team plays. First, like that, get used to the system. Get used to play around him, how they play. So I think I personally think it'd be a good addition, but let's see what happens. So yeah, I end on that note. Thank you for watching. It's just an update on the transfer today. So Steve Fletcher on a free transfer to end the season has joined Wrexham AFC. So best of luck to him and let's back him. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and share it. And tell your friends about it and I'm looking to do a vlog tomorrow if any Doncaster fans are watching this I'd like to get on the channel to have your opinion about your season how it's been so far and how you think your season will go the rest of the season how you feel about performance wise and who's the one to watch out for so on that note thank you for watching I'll see you tomorrow at the game thank you Wrexham fully deserve this. Put the trophy together.